Dusty here with Rocky Mountain Crane. Today we're going to talk about slew motors and weather vane. So this is what the swing motor looks like when the cover's off. Uh, so when the cover's on, you won't see all these mechanisms. We just wanted to show you so you could visually understand how it worked. This is applicable to the HUP 3227, HUP 4030, and the newer T5 models uh, have this system of weather vaning. Very important that the operator every morning uh, verifies that the crane is out of weather vane, especially on the cranes, the HUP 4030s that have two slew motors, uh, because one could be stuck in weather vane and one not in weather vane. Uh, so you want to make sure that it is physically coming out of weather vane, and also we'll show you how to manually put it in weather vane. Uh, so on the back of the motor here, you have the brake release. So you want to make sure you're pointed downwind. So you're going to lift up on the brake and slide over the locking mechanism that's going to slide this plate underneath these two nuts and hold the brake released and keep it in weather vane. So when you push the button on the back, this electromagnet is pulling the brake release and sliding this over, um, putting in an automatic weather vane for you. Um, we just want to show you the, the actual mechanism so you can understand how it works. So to take it out of weather vane, you're going to lift up on this handle and make sure that this, as a visual aid in the morning with this handle plugged in, that you're watching that lever flick back to unweather vane position. So that's a good way to tell if this lever isn't moving then it's not coming out of weather vane. You need to come up and manually, you might have to manually pull it over to pull it out of weather vane.